Hello students, let us continue with chapter 8 quadrilaterals. Uh, so we were looking uh, at uh, the solve examples uh, related to the midpoint theorem as well as its converse. In the previous class, we will take a look at another example on page 149 of your textbooks. That is uh, question number 8. It has been given that lines L, M and N are parallel to each other and P and Q are the transversals on these lines such that AB is equal to BC. So let us mark AB is equal to BC. We need to prove that DE is equal to EF. So now this looks somewhat similar to the midpoint theorem and its converse. But for that we need a triangle. So what we will do is we will try to draw a triangle such that we can show that B is the midpoint of AC and it's already been given that BE is parallel to CF. So once you have the midpoint somewhere over here, uh, we, you can, you, sorry, once you have a coordinate over here, a point over here on this line, you can show that it is the midpoint of that line, right, that connects A to F. So let us draw this line. I will join points A and F and take a point G over here. So G lies on the line segment BE. Now since AB is equal to BC and line M is parallel to line N, I have BG parallel to CF. Therefore, what can I say? That G is the midpoint of AF. Now, if you look at this triangle now, which is upside down, we have proved that this side is equal to this side and M is parallel to L or L is parallel to M. Therefore, GE is parallel to ED, AD. Therefore, by the converse of midpoint theorem, I can say that E is the midpoint of DF, which implies that DE is equal to EF. Simple sum, let us go ahead and prove it. So, first I will write my construction. Join points A and F such that point G lies on BE, right, BE on line M. So now I will start with my proof. I, so let us first go ahead and prove that BG is parallel to CF. M is parallel to N, this is given. Therefore what do I have? BG is parallel to CF. Why? Because B and G lie on M and C and F lie on N and already M and N are parallel. Therefore, let us mark this as 1. So now in your triangle ACF, in triangle ACF, AB is equal to BC, this is given. And I have BG parallel to CF. This is from 1. Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, G is the midpoint of AF. I will say converse of midpoint theorem. And let us mark this statement as 2. Now let us look at the inverted triangle. We need to first show that EG is parallel to AD. So first I am going to say that L is parallel to M. L is parallel to M. This is given. Therefore what do I have? AD is parallel to GE. Why? Because AD, A and D lie on L and A and D and G and E lie on M. So let us mark this as 3. So now in your triangle FAD, in triangle FAD, I have G is the midpoint of AF from 2. 
also ad is parallel to ge this is from 3 therefore what do i get that e is the midpoint of df why converse of midpoint theorem what does this imply therefore de is equal to ef hence proved so this was about solved example number 8 this is uh, pretty simple now we will take a look at the exercise 8.2 related to the midpoint theorem and its converse and all that we have learned in the chapter uh, quadrilaterals in the next class thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies so what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.